Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have accepted that you're weird, feel free to stay by staying. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. So, I might just put something on the screen here that caused me to want to make this video. Uh, and then we'll come back to me. If you didn't know, I'm a qualified, not practicing, but I am a qualified beauty therapist. I will do a video on how I got that qualification because I didn't go the college route. I went through training room. I'll do my whole experience on that at some point. So when I see things like this shit and that shit, or people that are out here calling themselves lash techs, nail tech, anyway, I'm like, show me, show me. Your liability insurance first before you put yourself like because I, I, I'm pretty sure you don't even have liability insurance. I, I don't think you know what liability insurance is, do you? Because uh, this pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie, like it actually grinds, uh, like it. Oh, because you know what? This lady, right? She literally could have got blind because this person, I don't even know if it's a woman or if it's a man, I don't care. This human, okay. Because if you're a creature, right, if you're a creature, you do not do rubbish like this to other people because karma and all that shit, whatnot. She could have got blind. Like, dead ass. This woman could have got blind from this. Like, she had to go to another thingy, last person, to take it off. Like, she used the bonding weave glue. Like, hair glue. She used it in hair. She might as well fucking use gorilla glue for all we know. Because... I don't even think that's the right lyrics for that song. I don't remember who even sang it, but my point being, this pissed me off. So, hence the title of this video. So, I just thought I would share with people because I know I've been talking about how I am. I in I'm in the process. More or less, I have completely changed all my skincare and my makeup is cruelty free or vegan. So, I I've anyone that's still testing on animals in 2021 china i i'm looking at you funny because well, for the why like why do you need to test on animals in 20 in 2021 why are you testing on animals what reason i don't understand like well, it's going to be applied on human skin so if you want to test it go test on human skin go test on human skin i know there's technologies out here where you can mimic literally the skin of humans i'm a creature i'm not human you can create the skin of humans and test your products on there why are you testing on animals like why are you when are bunnies and pigs and monkeys going to be wearing makeup for what reason like i don't understand so anyways that's that's the point so i'm gonna do my best to try and put the images of each product here because I don't have everything within reach at the moment. Uh, some of the old things that I'm talking about, I'm actually waiting for them to be delivered because... Oh, Rona is doing a number still. First things first, I'm going to try and do it in order of application, if that makes sense. So everything I'm going to be listing is cruelty or cruelty free or vegan, um, the product anyway. So I'm going to go in order of application so the one we're gonna start with obviously is makeup i will do a skincare one but we're gonna start with makeup so makeup wise for eyebrows i have tried um i hate eyebrows uh, i'm just gonna tell you this right now i don't like doing eyebrows i i absolutely despise it i despise the living shit out of it I have done an eyebrow tutorial video on how I tint and wax my eyebrows. I'll link it somewhere up here if you want to watch that. Um, the products I did use in that video are cruelty free. I just wish obviously they use more sustainable packaging but small steps so we're winning on that one. So yeah, the brand I used in that 
is cruelty free. So if you want to watch how I actually maintain my eyebrows at home, it's linked somewhere up here. At the moment, uh, I use Benefit, the uh, Cabral, so it's a pomade. I only just started using pomades recently because I have really oily eyebrows. My favorite is Cabral, it's by Benefit, and this is the one I use, and I use shade number five, and that's it really. The next step in my routine usually is primer. I have two primers I'm using. So I have the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Mask Primer, and I also have Hydro Grip. Uh -huh. Hydro Grip. So I would say from all those, if you're gonna invest in a very good primer, and I feel like this one works. Like looking at the ingredient profile, I feel like this one works for all skin types. Milk, Hydro Grip, this baby, ooh, ooh, like listen, mm -mm. like if you struggle with your makeup lasting for a while, get you this. People that be out here trying to tell people that like a primer, what's a primer, primer, there's no point for a primer. They're applying it wrong, number one. Uh, but then also, it's also subjective based on their skin type and the products that they're using, blah, 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 blah. But I feel that this primer works with just about every single foundation I've ever used. I've tried it on seven different foundations and like different formulas and stuff like that. Because also, there's like some silicone based, some water based, heavier, uh, thing heavy, full on coverage, light coverage, skin tints, blah, blah, blah. But then again, if you're using like a moisturized, a tinted moisturizer, why would you be applying primer? You mostly trying to make sure that you have your SPF and then your skin tint. So never mind. but that's that. But yeah, if you want to invest in any primer, this is the one to go for. It's a bit on the pricey side, but believe me, a little goes a long way. I'm not knocking the Fenty one, but it's just that I find that like, I find myself throwing my hands more at the Milk Hydro Grip more as opposed to the Fenty primers, to be fair, because I use two primers, so I use Milk Hydro Grip in my T-zone and then the hydrating everywhere else. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I'll just use the Milk Hydro Grip all over my face. Like, it's the best bet. So, if you have combination skin like me, because my the rest of my face is dry and I have an oily T-zone, get you some Milk Hydro Grip, okay? Get you some Milk Hydro Grip. Next product we're gonna talk about is foundation. So. Foundation, I am not one of the like bougie people that be out here spending like fucking Well, uh, let me not lie, let me not lie, let me not lie I have spent, uh, the most I spent on foundation before I think was like 35 pounds But I'm, for everyday wear, why? Like for what reason? I'm sorry, like for what reason? I am not gonna lie, my favourite foundation to this day since I tried it is NYX Like you can't beat them. Well, I mean, like, they have room for improvements in terms of, like, their shade ranges and stuff like that. So the um, only issues, the little niggles I have with NYX is just the shade. Like, every time when I look at it, so if you're, like, for example, I'm a Sable, right? Dip Sable in the Cancer Porn Stop and Dip Sable in the Onto Glow. Let me just get them. So, what I was saying was, if... Uh, you all to get, so I've got the Can Stop, Boy Stop, right? Here. This is in the shade Dip Sable. And then I've got the same shade, but in the Bond to Glow formula. Let me just show you something. So we have, see this is lying to me because it doesn't look like this in person, so this is lying. So this one, this side here, this is the Bond to Glow formula, no. Can Stop, Boy Stop formula, which is the matte one, and the Bond to Glow is the dewy one, dewy finish. This is a lie, they don't look like this in person. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Like, they're looking similar on camera. Let me try and blend it out a bit more. But like, they don't look like this, okay? They do not look like this. I mean, it's trying to show up, it's trying to show me up. Like, I'm trying to give people what they want here and you're trying to show me up and trying to make me look like a fool so, so i tried to just blend it out a little bit more as you can see the ken store porn stop one is more full coverage than the bond to glow one and these formulas i'm not gonna lie they mix really well together i actually never wear the ken store porn stop one the matte formula i never wear this one on its own i actually as much as i have obviously like oily whatever combination skin I just prefer to mix these two. When I'm buying foundations, what I usually do, I now, instead of buying foundation for each season, I get my winter shade and then I also get my summer shade. And then I can mix it 
if that makes sense. So I literally have my summer shade and winter shade in this one, summer shade and winter shade in this one. It sounds silly, but that's just what I do because then I can mix and I can get like the right shade. Because obviously it's like the seasons are changing and stuff like that. I'm not gonna be out here buying a particular shade for each season. I'll just mix it and get the right shade. And I always, when I'm matching foundations, I never match it to my face. I usually try and match it to here. One, because I have hyperpigmentation on my neck. So when I do apply my foundation, I'd like it to not have the separation. And so I just match it to here and then it's just like more flawless. They mix really well together and the finish is lovely. So in terms of, uh, if I'm going the bougier end, the bougier side, high end, should I say, Fenty, the hydrating one, the formula for that, I love it. And then the Too Faced, both of them at the moment, I can't use them because they're more like, they make me like, look like an Oompa Loompa basically. So those ones, I kind of just like keep them there. I don't reach for them on a daily, to be fair. If you see me do makeup videos and stuff like that, nine out of 10 times, I'm mostly wearing NYX anyway. So I don't really reach for those. Those are more like my special occasion type of foundations and stuff like that, because obviously they're expensive. So I'm not gonna be using them every day. But anyways, so that's that for foundation. In terms of concealer wise, I'm showing you the ones that I like because I have some concealers that I have that I don't like. So starting with, once again, NYX, I have both formulas, the Can Stop One Stop One and the Bond to Glow. Recently, I've been reaching more for the Bond to Glow one as opposed to the Can Stop One Stop One because obviously this one is more for matte finish and this one is a dewy one and my under eyes are tending to be a bit more drier these days so I'm trying to use this one because it's more hydrating formula and it doesn't cling and usually I find with this one if you put it on and if you usually take your time before you get to the point of you actually um, setting your concealer you can't move this if you put foundation uh, if you put setting powder straight after then you're fine but then if you put your concealer on then finish off the rest of your face and then put this on usually it would have been set in place so I like this because these days I usually like tend to do underpainting. So I put my contour, my um, highlights and all that stuff before and then I put my foundation after. So this works better because even if I'm doing all those things, if it starts to like kind of move a little bit, I can still go over it and like just blend it out my sponge. Um, I don't even have to apply more product. I just use what's already on there. And that's pretty much it. And I also have like a little bit of like sunken eyes a little bit at the bottom so that's why but i do like these both of these formulas i'll probably go back to this when it gets to if it starts being hot i have these in the shade warm honey this one surprisingly enough for the concealers the shades actually do match i mean for the foundation it sort of matched neatly but Obviously, the Bond to Glow seemed a little bit more on the darker side as opposed to the Can Stop one. Can Stop seemed a little bit more lighter. But anyways, these ones, they're actually very similar. So weird, but anyway. The next brand for concealers that I like is Makeup Revolution. And I have just about all their concealers. Um, well, I don't have... The, well, I'm showing you, the, like I said, I'm showing you the ones I like. Okay, I, I the, the ones I don't like, I'm not showing it. Um, let me just show you. This is the picture. This is a picture. I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now to show you the one that I don't like from them. And this is one of them. It, it's just drying. It's just dry. Like, very, 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 very dry. Like, it's a sculpting concealer. Like, if you put it, it don't move. Starting with the hydrating one. So, we have the Conceal and Hydrate. Contour and Hydro Concealer in the shade six, the, uh, C16.5 and this is what it looks like. So I like this. Uh, I mostly also it's a little bit on the darker end of which I have this for the reasons of correcting. So that's that. It's a little bit also like quite darker for me to be using under my under eye. For contour, it would be, it would blend way too much. Like you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, there will literally be no point, but I usually use this as like a color correcting concealer. The other one that I like is the Conceal and Define, and it's this one. 
And this one I tend to use the on to clean up my eyebrows because I don't like that halo eyebrow because some people, I know, I know, some people would use this. Uh, I'm judging you. Uh, anyways, I don't like that floating eyebrow look. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. And so I use this to clean up my um, eyebrows. And then I also use it as an in-between shade here. So concealer, contour, and then I put this one in between to just like blend those two together because I like a bright under eye, but I like it to be blended, if that makes sense, because some people can look a bit suspect. Yeah, so this one is not hydrating at all. Like it's matte if you apply it. This is what it looks like. So this is six uh this is C16.5 and that's C13. Uh, yeah, I use C13 for what I just said basically and it is pretty much i like it for the fact that it's drying that like when i place it it don't move where i placed it it's staying there which is what i need for my under bride like my eyebrows anyway it's from like under my eyebrows i don't want it to move but obviously like when i apply it here it's usually apply it and blend it as soon as you apply it don't even allow to leave it uh at the moment obviously this is also my correcting shade and my other favorite um makeup revolution but their sister brand xx revolution it came out with it did it come out last year i think it launched last year if i'm not mistaken i love the formula for this like absolutely love the formula for this concealer so it's this one and this is in the shade c 12.2 that's that one and obviously as you can see it's stupidly light like stupidly like let me watch the other one so i can show you how light this is Right, so this is basically all my concealers so obviously this range i'm going from me in winter to summer as you can see so the first one that is the bond to glow concealer in warm honey the next one is the can stop one stop formula from nyx again and then the next one is the xx revolution one um in c12 cx 12.2 and then the next one is the makeup revolution conceal and define in c13 and then the last one is the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate in c16 13 no c16.5 sorry but yeah so that's pretty much what they all look like so that is that for concealers so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow so i have a few eyeshadow palettes because I do makeup for Instagram. But if you want to just spend money on an eyeshadow palette, depending on your budget, if you want more on the affordable side, you can find the ones I'm looking for. So basically, I'm going to put up a few palettes that I have. So I have from Makeup Obsession, which is a sister brand to Makeup Revolution. It's um, their third sister brand. I think because they have Makeup Revolution, no, 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 fourth. So they have Revolution Pro, Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution, and Makeup Obsession. I think I got all of them. Yeah, all those brands, they Makeup Revolution, basically. Anyway, so Makeup Obsession has really good, good pigmented palettes. Surprising enough, I prefer the palettes for Makeup Obsession as opposed to the palettes by makeup revolution even though it's the same brand it's really weird i don't know why but anyway so i they have colorful ones they're neutral ones uh these are the two is it two no these are the three that i own basically so i'm just gonna put them up on the screen and they are quite affordable they're 10 pounds so if you're more on like a tight budget those would be the, that would be the brand for you to go for in terms of for highly pigmented, high color payoff, and easy to blend eyeshadows. I would go for the makeup obsession ones. If you're more on the end of you want to spend a little bit more coin, a little bit more money, or if you're starting a kit, if you're like a MUA, if you're a makeup artist, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out Be Perfect Cosmetics because I'm just going to show you two palettes. Two palettes, yes, they're expensive, but they're expensive for a reason, and they will last you a long time. And you have every single color under the under the rainbow spectrum that you could ever want. If you are a neutral person, this palette, obviously, I'm putting up the pricing and stuff like that on screen. So this palette is the neutral one, and this one is be perfect with uh, collaboration with Jar makeup artist. This is what it looks like, and yeah. 
as you can see like i said this is what neutral girls the ones that don't like color this is for you you can create all the makeup looks you want with this palette even if you want to try a little bit of color you got a little bit of pink in there you got a little bit of green like some olive green in there and they are brown shade like dark like it is dark dark brown like dark brown okay like it's dark so if you are into more neutrals and stuff like that i mean you've got like some burgundies in here you can do like a soft glam you can do like a little you 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 got everything you need okay you got everything you need in this palette if you are more on the end of the spectrum me um of those creatures where you like color this is the palette for you so this is in collaboration with stacy marie who's a makeup artist again so this as you can see this palette is loved and i even have some colors in here that I haven't even touched yet like it's crazy like there's endless possibilities to this and i just like how obviously like it goes in a row so you've got your um yellows and orange your pinks and reds your darker pinks and purple pinky purple burgundy bluey green blue teal brown brown gray brown black i don't know if i said makes sense but like as you can see and you even have i even like these highlights and i don't use any other highlights so if you see me like the highlights i'm wearing like highlighter the highlight i'm wearing right now is this one at the bottom here this is the highlight i use without a doubt every single time like i absolutely love the formula for this and yeah like i've had this palette i think for i've had it for a while obviously just go back to do makeup videos and stuff like that but like these two palettes if you are to invest in any makeup palettes these two like i i can't say any more about it these two palettes if you are to invest if you are a neutral person get you this one if you like color get you this one if you're also a neutral person and you like a little bit of color this has enough color for you to start experimenting on and if you want to graduate yourself to the big mama then you can but like these two like you're sorted yes obviously like the total price is a bit like it's expensive for a reason okay you get what you pay for with fire with um eyeshadows like i'd rather spend a little bit more money because number one is going on my eye it's going very like it's going in an area that's very close to me eyeball so i'm not going to spend cheap ass money and be getting dupes online where they use all sorts of rubbish in those products and <laughs> anyway so moving on moving on to primer i only have one eyeshadow primer i use like I don't care about any other eyeshadow primer. I really don't. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I do not care about any other eyeshadow primer at all. This is the primer that you need. I don't care whether you're doing a neutral look or you're doing uh, whatever look. If you get oily eyelids, this is the primer for you. And this is the one from Be Perfect Cosmetics. Again, it's the Prime Perfect. It's Perfect Primer. Let's call it Prime Perfect. It's a Perfect Prime Prime Eyeshadow Prime. <laughs> it's the perfect prime eyeshadow primer from be perfect cosmetics this is the only eyeshadow primer you need like it's a bit scary uh, i'm not gonna lie because obviously it's that color so that's a bit scary but obviously it blends out and everything like that and your eyeshadow stain it ain't moving okay when you use this your eyeshadow is not going anywhere like it's not moving it's there for life well, not for life, obviously, until you remove it, but anyways, we'll talk about skincare in another video. So, moving on to eyelashes. If you see me wearing any form of eyelash, just know it is from this brand, Eldora Lashes. I, but like, listen, yes, 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 eyelashes are not, not all eyelash brands are vegan. Believe it or not, not all of them are. So this is my favorite one and these are the these eyelashes that I have right now are the ones I am wearing at the moment. Um if you see me wearing eyelashes, they're from Adora lashes. I don't wear anything else, it's from them. Whether I'm doing some crazy funky creative look or whatnot, if you see me wearing an eyelash, it's from them. The fairy doll is my favorite style and uh, Like, seriously, but yeah, if you see me wearing eyelashes, it's from them. And of course, uh, no one's gonna get the eyelashes and we'll get the eyelash through. This, okay, this, uh, this, 
I, I just, I'm just trying to make sure that you, you see this, right? Yes, you've seen up close of how dirty and messy it is. This, this lash glue, right, is gonna make any other lash glue you ever use in your entire life feel like shit. Okay, like this, baby. That, that jaw lash glue, check in the bin. Oh yeah, check it in the bin. And you people that try and use thingy, bonding weave glue, shame on you. Check it in the bin, get you this. It's 10 pounds. Okay, it's 10 pounds, but it's 10 pounds for a reason. Your lashes don't move. They ain't gonna move. Okay, I've done the wind test on these, okay, on this lash glue. They ain't moving nowhere. They ain't moving. Okay, I've worn, you know how windy it is in Britain? In this Britain island? In this island of ours? Hey, not ours. Hey, look at me trying to make myself think that like I from. This is people that colonized our country. It's now our thing. Well, I think we're coming here to like saying back our shit, but anyway. The, the windiness of how Britain is, how misbehaving, the weather's been misbehaving, that wind. My lashes, you think they're gonna fly off? You think my high lash, my high lash is going to fly off? No, it will not fly off, but if you use that other hair that I said, it will fly off. Stop using thingy, repurposing products for what they're not intended to because let's not have another uh, listen. Let us not have another gorilla glue situation. Your high lash, your eyebrow, your hair, keep it away from there. Please, just, just stop. Like, just, it's not intended for that. Like, we all, we just need to stop. 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 Moving on to lipsticks, I have quite a few. I'm just gonna show you like some of them. I don't have all of them near me right now. Um, so, lipsticks and lip glosses. Lipsticks, um, hoo -hoo -hoo. this is just some of my lip products. It's not all of them. Like, listen, my shit right now, it's, but my, my room right now, it's a bit. If you like a lipstick, not a liquid, but you like a creamy matte finish, Lipstick, I would say get to some Mellow Cosmetics. It's an Australian brand, but believe it or not Their shipping is faster than some of the companies in the UK like please explain to me How is that possible something coming from Australia will arrive? I will order on the same day listen I will if I order something in the UK on the same day and order from Mellow Cosmetics that same day, I guarantee you the product from Australia is getting to me before the one in the UK. I don't understand how. Like, how? UK, Ernie's, a fucking DPD, Royal Mail, Fix Up, like, what the fuck? Yodo, you're lame. And you just. <laughs> you like a lipstick? Highly pigmented, very comfortable, not dry, not crackly, nothing. Get you some Mellow Cosmetics. I also have like a few videos on my Instagram if you want to see how I like to pair them up and stuff like that. But like their formula, oh my god. Like my mom stole one of my lipsticks. She refused to give it back. Hi, mom. Hi. You know which lipstick I'm talking about. If you like the more like uh, satin finish that look a bit glossy without putting a lip gloss on. Get the um, lipsticks for Makeup Revolution. I have a few here. Uh, it's the from the Revolution Pro, so not Makeup Revolution. Remember I told you how they have like sister brands. It's one brand, but they have like the two necklets in there. They have their siblings. So get the ones from Revolution Pro. They have a satin finish to them. They are shiny and I mean, I myself don't tend to reach out for them that much because I have like a few shades that I like but it's just the fact that like because they're like that shiny finish they tend to be not that opaque, they're not that highly pigmented but if that's for you, if you tend to not like it to be very fair in your face then that might be for you. I mean they're still there in your face if you keep like swishing it around on your lips and stuff like that but if you just like a little bit of colour and a little bit of shine that's for you. And then the other ones I like as well is the Fenty ones. If you are the Mademoiselle lipsticks, oh, listen. Mm. Mm. I'm just gonna show you my favorite red lip combo. Well, it's a red lip, but then it's also a black lip combo. Listen, just look at this, okay? Just look at this, okay? This is my favorite combination. I use the Mademoiselle in F in Black and Griselda. 
and oh, 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 something about this color combination, this lip combo, just makes me want to be a bitch. Like, don't talk to me. If you see me wearing this color combination, don't even breathe in my direction. Like, don't breathe in my direction. Just keep it moving. Don't breathe in my direction. If you see me wearing this, if you see me wearing a pink lip, come. I feel flirty. If you see me wearing a glossy lip, come. I feel chatty. If you see me wearing this one, don't talk to me. Okay, don't talk to me. If you want to see what mood I'm in, just look at my color, like my lip combination. You look at my lipstick, if I'm wearing gloss, if I'm wearing a pink, if I'm wearing an orange, I'm chatty, okay? If I'm wearing a brown, business, okay? Like, I sometimes just wear, like, the Mellow Cosmetics, they have a shade called chocolate. If I just wear that one on its own, I mean business, okay? If you see me, if you see me wearing that combination using the Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks, don't talk to me. Just, just don't. Do not talk to me. Talk to me. Moving on to the lip glosses. My favorite ones are also by Fenty. From the gloss bomb is Diamond Milk, Fussy, and Fenty Glow. They're the ones that I like the most. If you like, obviously, for like an everyday look, the one that I'm always wearing in every video, it's NYX. I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in brown. And then I use the butter glosses in praline and ginger snap. Pretty much these are the ones I use from NYX every single time. Like every single time you see me, if I'm wearing, this is like my everyday lid. So the thing is most people don't need this many brushes, but if you would like to buy a one-off brush set to know that you have all the brushes in the world that you need, I would say get this set from Beauty Bay. Amazing quality. Like I, I love every single brush in that set I use. Even when I don't need to, I just use them. Like every single one of them. Every time I do my makeup, I make it a point of using every single one of those brushes. Because they're just so nice. They feel so lovely. They feel amazing. Like, it, it, it's great. Like, yes, the price is a bit like, Ooh! but if you would like to invest in a brush set where you have everything for your face covered, eyes, face covered, get that brush set. And if you don't, if you have specific eye brushes that you want to buy, I would say the Morphe M507 and M506, they are my go-to. So as you can see, this one is more tapered and the other one is more fluffy. And this one that's more tapered, like can get into the inner part more easily and stuff like that. I can get more like detailing done. When it comes to Morphe, I, would, I definitely would advise against buying their brush sets because they tend to be a bit... I don't know if it was just the set I got because maybe because of like a discount because I'm trying to clear the stuff out but their set brushes are more a bit like funny uh the ones with the black handles anyway um I don't know they're just more on the cheaper quality end but if you buy individual brushes like the M501, M506, M507 those ones I feel like they took more time to make those brushes. When it comes to sponges, I only have one sponge company that I like at the moment. I used to like Real Techniques, but at the moment, Juno and Co. Juno and Co. I literally, when I say Juno and Co, right, I have six of the sponges. These are the three that I've been using at the moment. So I have four of the pink ones and then I have two of the blue ones. The blue ones, I tend to like them more. I haven't used the blue one actually to blend out my actual foundation. I tend to use this for setting my face and then for blending out my foundation or concealer, I tend to use the pink one. Maybe one of these days I need to try and use the blue one for my face, but I like those ones. Um, an alternative, if you would like, if you don't want to buy Beauty Juno and Co, an alternative that I would recommend is the masked ones. Uh, these are them, I'm not going to show them in person, but I'll put a picture up here. This, you get a set of three sponges, which are double-ended. Obviously, like, they're pointy at each end and stuff like that. So, you won't have to do the whole thing of, like, having a powder sponge and a blending sponge, if that makes sense. So, if you just take one of them, you can use one end to blend out the product. And then the other side, you can use it to apply the thingy what do you call it the powder basically i just realized that i forgot to include my setting spray the only setting spray i like is the one from jared cosmetics called slay all day if you still use urban decay the setting spray that smells like doo-doo this one um 
back to the video. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to share for this video. And if you feel that this video was any, uh, if it was helpful in any way or possible, huh? If you feel that this video helped you in some way of English, if you feel that this video was helpful to you and you feel that somebody else will find it helpful as well, make sure to share it with them and don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell, okay? Consistency coming your way. But anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video and I'll tune in and until next time I'll see you in the next video. Bye!